Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming here with another episode of The Shadow of War. Alright, when we left off, we uh, were not directly right here, but uh, I figured that we were going to set up for the assault, and that it would be a good idea to start right here. Um, a couple things have happened in the meantime, I should probably mention. Uh... Most of my equipment is still the same. I haven't gotten anything new. Um, most of the army layout has changed. Uh, you could see that his armor is kind of uh, upgraded a little bit. He's actually with us right now. Um, right now we have it set up that most of the uh, <laughs> most of the standing forces around this fortress are ours. <laughs> I already have the siege upgrades all set up the way I want them. So we'll be doing that, and this is a new guy, Bagath, the Gold Thief. He came out of an outlaw mission that I decided to do. I wasn't going to do too many of them off camera, but he came up. I was like, holy fuck, this guy's cool. Uh, I had to shame him down to be able to get him on my team, but after that, came up no problem. A couple people are dead, as you can see, and a couple people are new. Uh, Ugol was the King Slayer. Now he is the Elusive because he's run away from me so many times. <laughs> uh, Flack the Collector is new. Uh, he came up just randomly. Uh, Koth Blood. We got him, I think, last episode. I think. I don't remember. Crook Nightbringer is actually pretty cool. Uh, fiery Mystic Marksman. Uh, he's got Sniper Shot. He's, he's pretty cool. He's a pretty cool guy. Um, we got Luga, the Executioner, who is currently my bodyguard. Uh, we got Azrans, the Devoted. He's also another fiery mystic, but he's a Beastmaster. Just kind of cool. Ashgan, Ghoul Keeper. He's pretty damn cool, too. We got Scoth, the Wise, who I said I was going to get, and I got him. It took a while, but I got him. <laughs> Uh, he ended up actually getting captured at some point, so he lost his helmet and got the, uh, brand that's usually given to the slaves. So that's a little unfortunate that he, uh, got captured, I rescued him, and then he was okay again. But, uh, yeah, he ended up killing all of his captors. <laughs> uh, kinda on accident. I was off dealing with a, uh, couple grunts and uh in the background he was just slaughtering his captors it was kind of funny <laughs> anyway um snafu the angry is one from my barracks i just transferred him over um he looks pretty strong but at the same time he's flammable and can get dazed pretty easily which is not that great when you're dealing with a berserker um <laughs> his his main strength is his anger and if he gets dazed after all of his anger that's not good that's not good for you so that's a little bit unfortunate for us and he does have some strengths regardless of that so i figured you know what might as well bring him on hopefully we'll get the dazed uh exhaustion uh thing uh trained out of him <laughs> and i'm hoping we can do that Gubu the Gravewalker. He came up randomly. Uh, he's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Mainly because he has the same name as me. And I captured him pretty quickly. Uh, <laughs> honestly. Uh, he did have a weakness to poison before. Which made it easier to do. And then he was also dazed by stealth. Which made it really quick, really fast. And then I just, after I branded him, he got poison proof, so he's no longer affected by poison, which was nice. Very nice. So, there's that. Um, we got Muzu the Endless here. He, uh, he at one point died and then came back, as you can see by the, uh, thing in his head. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what that is. Is that an axe? Is that a dagger? It looks like it was a dagger, because... It has kind of the handling shape of one, but at the same time, it's a little too small for Uruk hands, <laughs> so I don't know what it is. All I know is that it is 
bit of his charm. And he's back from the dead. And he's on my side. So that was fun. Alright, and I think we already had Urbenu before. Uh, we might not have, actually. Now that I think about it, uh, he's a Marauder tank. He's actually pretty good. Pretty strong. It's kind of nice. Uh, but I'm not able to do anything with him yet. So, for the time being, we already know our opponents. We've been here before. Uh, those market... Uh, notifications are just for the uh, boxes I've gotten from uh, doing a bunch of online vendettas. Now it's time to start the assault. Now, I debated whether or not to actually do a betrayal, because I do have a betrayal that's possible. I debated whether or not to do that first, considering that the uh, forces of the uh, fortress are already not at full strength. And I figured that I could just make it easier on myself, kill the last war chief, and just take this fortress no problem. But at the same time, I promised Toker that I was going to do it without killing the war chiefs, because it's more of a challenge. But <laughs> at the same time, it's a bit worthless if it's only one war chief that's there. <laughs> so, I mean. I figure, uh, maybe I should do the betrayal, <laughs> just to show off what it looks like, but I mean, also get the achievement as well. <laughs> That's actually kind of worth it too. So, uh, I'm going to do that for now, and then the next, the next one I do that has all the war chiefs available, I will do that without taking out the war chiefs. <laughs> but this time, it's they're already not at full strength. It's not worth it. It's not worth doing it. It'd be more of a challenge if all of them were there. All, like, four or five of them, whatever number they'd end up being. It'd be more worth it then. This time, it's just, it's one, it's one Uruk. It's, it's not even worth it. And I want to see how the betrayals go. Because I've never seen one in person before. <laughs> I've seen the, like, one person, you'll die, boss, and that's pretty much it. But I want to see when the entire crew is against the fucking war chief and they just ambush his ass. I kind of want to see it. So, here we are. And here we go. I'll take you first. And now I do it. Betrayal. Two Gog of the Hand's bodyguards are leading him into an ambush. I kind of want to see how it goes. <laughs> hey! Stay right there! You're about to get a lesson in orc supremacy over Manshwai! Yeah, about that. Let the things begin! <laughs> oh, that's a way to do it, fucking flog. That's fucking great. Oh, and he takes out the Karagor. Nope. I, oh, now it's dead. <laughs> that was weird. All followers must survive. And they're going to survive because he's already broken. Shit. And he's basically dead. He's in the fire. Nope. He survived that. And. Ooh. Oh, oh. Oh. He is dead. He got brain. <laughs> Damn. Oh, it popped up on my computer now. Hey, defeating the war chief has disabled hunter host. That was the only real benefit they had. So, pff, fuck it, whatever. Look at you guys doing the good shit, getting the shit done. Good on you, Flog. Good on you, Koth. Ranger's bow. Let's see what that's like. Uh, use a ranged weapon to kill an enemy who is on fire. Ah, it's kind of worthless compared to my current bow. Even It's even more worthless compared to the bow that I have on standby, should I decide, you know what, I don't need my legendary bows, but pff, let's, be, let's be honest, I would love to use my regular bows all the time. Alright, so, with that done, I think... I can say, now I'll do the assault. <laughs> K. 
Camp raid. A camp raid? Who's raiding the camp? Cothblood is preparing to raid Argul the Regals. Oh, yeah, the Regal guy. I kind of want to see how this goes. <laughs> I'm getting distracted left and right here. But, I'll have that marked just so I know after this, after this, I'll do it. But I want to see how the Regal goes. Because he's kind of cool and I kind of want to have him join my side. But I'll have to see how strong he is before I consider that. And having him fight against Koth is actually a great way to test that. Alright. Oh, jeez. Karagor is right on my ass. Yeesh. Oh yeah, as you can see, Koth also had to be shamed a bit as well to get him on my side. But look at him. He is so cool. He is such a badass. And I didn't ruin him in the process, which is great. Okay. He has a fear of poison and exhaustion, which, you know, is unfortunate. But it's whatever. It's whatever. I can deal with that. And he has great strength, which is a great fucking trait. Now, when compared to the Regal, he is vulnerable to stealth and sickly. And has a fear of brutality. But he does have a lot of beasts on his side, as he is a beast master. And he is enraged, enraged, enraged by injury, so that might actually help him in this fight. So we'll see how it goes. We live to serve Sauron. He will make Mordor greater than we ever imagined. Right. His armor is actually pretty shit. Bloody, 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 bloody. Hey there! He was already like that. I know what you're thinking. Well, hi there! And no, I don't need an apprentice. I just need a fresh corpse. And you'll do nicely. Hey, he was talking to Koth directly! That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. In the meantime, time to explode that. If I can fucking hit it. There we go. That'd be nice. Perfect! <laughs> and let's do some damage to him, huh? Oh, oh. oh no, he got deadlit. Oh no, he's deadlit. That's not good. Um. <laughs> Oops. Didn't work out exactly as I expected, but. That's proof maybe I didn't need him. <laughs> maybe. One swipe from fucking Koth was enough to kill him. One swipe from Koth. Couple swipes for me, and that was enough. What the? Yo, oh, you're running now? Oh, you're running now? You think I'm gonna let you run? Actually, yes, I am. <laughs> it's not worth it. Let him escape. I don't care. He's kinda worthless in the grand scheme of things. Flock the Collector. What's this Karagor raid, what's this about? It's, uh. Flak the Collector is raiding Ugol the Elusive's Karagor pens. Eh, not worth it. I'm not interested in those petty squabbles. What I'm interested in is finally doing the job that I was meant to do. And that job is killing these motherfuckers. And I'll get to that very soon. Eventually. When I eventually get to the thing. Okay. Whoop! Hi there! You're mine now. <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> nice try. Now you're mine. Alright. Up we go. Whee! Alright. And away. What? What? Blood is blood. What? Blood He's betraying me? Blood is blood. Blood is blood. Blood is blood. Blood is blood. Well, I mean... Oh, you son of a bitch. Now you have iron will, too? Koth, no! You were... <laughs> you were a staple of my assault, man! Damn it! Damn it, man! Now I have to kill you! Ow! That was bad on my part. There we go. That helped. Alright. Good. And let's get some damage on you. Some good damage. Come on, man! 
You faced... You faced me before. What makes you think this is going to change? Come on, man. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you have a fear of poison. You knew this was going to happen. Come on, man. You have no no power. That's a shame, you. Let's see where that goes. You're leveled down. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. I can deal with that. Now I need to get you again. God. Oh, and he's not that far. Well, isn't that useful for me? Alright. Up we go. Get you to shut you up. Stop making you do that. Whoop, come on. Yeah, come on now. Stop it. You fucking asshole. Now you're mine. Feel proud of yourself? You fucked up. Alright. He just cough. He's in the general area. Son of a bitch. Cough, god damn it. Like, I'm not even kidding. He was a staple of my assault. <laughs> or not. What? Didn't I set him up? I didn't? Huh. I could have sworn I did. Oh, well, there's a new guy anyway. Guess I could get that dealt with. Alright. Do you now? Think you got me? You think you got me, huh? Well, there's that. Yep. And there we go. Let's find out who the new guy is first. And then we'll get fucking... Oh, he's Moog. Moog Slave Master. He's kind of worthless. I don't fucking care. He's not good enough for me to worry about. Cough. Where are you, you son of a bitch? At this point, it's just the principle of the thing, you know? He was part of my team, and now he's fucking pulled his shit. And I want him on my team, but at the same time... Okay. Maybe he's over in this direction. Alright, away we go. Yes, I'm over here. How about that? Where the fuck is he? God damn it. it. Said it was in this area, man. God damn it. Is it lying to me? Yeah, it's gotta be lying to me. Fuck it. Damn it. Fuck it. Fuck it. It's not worth it now. It's not worth it at all. Now. Kind of lost its luster. Son of a bitch. Alright. I'll go after him later. I'll go after him after the assault. It says he's in the search area, but I, I just checked the search area. You're lying to me. You're lying to me. Fuck it. Fuck it. It's not worth it. At this point, I was supposed to do an assault. That's what I'm going to do. Ugh. You helped me with a betrayal, and then you pull this. You betraying betrayer. How dare. Fucking triple agent. Betrayed your war chief, and then you betrayed me. You whore. How dare. I am so upset. Fucking damn it. Alright. Let's just do the fucking capture already. Jesus. Luckily, I didn't need much else. Let's do it. Let's get this started. There's my siege beasts. Terror Stronghold. It's the weakest it could possibly be. Here I am. All in my cool shit. Well then, here he is, all by his lonesome. The conquering hero, the man who took a single fort from Ratbag 
Well, yeah, but he was still pretty formidable. And as every inch of flesh is splayed from your body, every limb pulled out of joint, every bone broken. Wow. Your scream shall rise even higher. To victory! I reckon he thinks that sort of talk will make us afraid. Well, I am afraid. Afraid to start up again and never shut up! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Muzu, you're pretty cool. Let's get moving. Fuck yeah. Let's start it. Capture the victory points, which shouldn't be that hard, considering there's nothing there opposing us. Except a couple grunts. That's not even fucking really worthwhile. Hi there. Fuck you, guy. Whoop. You're on my side now. Whoop! Ha <laughs> ha! Gotcha! Oop, ow. That hurt. Ow, that hurt. I'll admit, that hurt a little bit. Okay, there we go. Ow. Fuck you. Fucking get you. There we go. And I get you too. I'm doing this all by myself. I, I'm finding that hilarious that I'm doing this all by myself. Okay. Up and capture. Yes, let's go to the gatehouse. Alrighty. Yep. Let's keep going. Whoop! Haha. <laughs> yeah, let's just clear this out one by one. And by one by one, I mean dozens by dozens. There we go. That was sad. Have you joined me in this? Whoops, that's all I want. I wanted you. There we go. And let's have my bodyguard help me out, too. Why not? Whoop, ow. Whoops. I didn't mean to hit you, but... This, I did mean to do. There we go. There we are. Let's get moving. Oh, okay, that was that wasn't great on my part. There we go. Whoop, okay. Whoops. Ow. Fuck you. Fuck you, guy. Yep. And there we go. Oh, nice try. Haha. <laughs> and there we are. And let's confront. The Overlord. We'll meet again, you filth. What the? Look to me for life. Still alive. <laughs> yeah, you're still alive, but why are you acting like you're afraid? What the? No one's getting. <laughs> no one's getting healed by my stuff. Oh well. I guess they're just gonna sit there and celebrate the victory. That's fine. That's fine by me. Here we are. Let's just be knocking on uh, Minas Morgul's doorstep with this capture, huh? Just to remind them that we're a thing. There's Couple Ologs on the right there. Is. There's pain all around us. Let us join in. Fight me and let us rejoice. Bathe in suffering. Right. Uh, I forgot Kyle. you were a uh, bit of a masochist. Um, he's flammable and soft-headed. I can exploit those. Question is, do I want to uh, recruit him? Because he is pretty strong, too. He's got epic determination there. A curse warder. He's actually pretty damn strong. I might have him join us. And let him keep control of the fort. Just because, why not, right? See what I can do to train him in the meantime. Alrighty, hey there, buddy. Whoops! Haha! <laughs> Whoops, that didn't work out. Whoops! Hi there! 
And he's on fire now. Oh, jeez. Should help a little. Ow. Ow. Jesus. Come on now. Whoop. That's not what I said. I just wanted to roll next to him, not roll on to him. Okay. Whoop. There's that. There we are. Whoop. Okay. That worked out. And a little more damage. Whoops. Okay. Damn it. That's not what I wanted. Ow. Okay. That was not good. Yep. That's fine. That's fine by me. Whoop. Haha. Gonna keep getting you. Why do you think I wanted to do that, game? It's not what I wanted to do. I just wanted to roll away. Okay. There we go. Ow. Come on now. Ow. Jesus. Okay. Well, that hurt. Alright. And... There we are. You're dead. And... Damaged. And... You're mine. And I'm gonna recruit you. There we go. You better. Alright. And the fort is captured. Although I don't think I'm gonna be keeping him as a overlord after all. I might move him. I might move him around. We did it. There's supposed to be a speech here, and he's not doing it, I guess. <laughs> oh, these fucking bugs are great. <laughs> Just fucking gesturing. Uh, 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 and sometime today... <laughs> The cheering's kind of died off, and it's just silence. <laughs> oh, that's stupid. That's the stupidest it's ever been. <laughs> oh, my God. That was lovely. And just how stupid. <laughs> you have conquered Kirith Ungol. And Akaro Painseeker. And he gained five levels. Oh, so I have to move him away. Okay, that's fair. Uh, I'm not going to promote him to Overlord. No, no, no. I'm going to promote someone who is at the front lines with me. A Nightbringer. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Although I like... Honestly like having Scoth. Hmm. Let's have Baga. Let's have Baga be the Overlord. It's actually pretty cool. Temporarily dazed when his pet or gang is killed. Although, if he's Overlord, that's going to be a lot of them, and that's not really going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm okay with Baga being the uh, Overlord. I'm perfectly okay with that. I exited out on accident. <laughs> Baga the Gold Thief. And sometime today... There it goes. It had to load it in. Promoted to Overlord. War Chief's promoted. Cool shit. New missions now available. I was about to say, I'd hope so. Alright. Let's see how the, uh... See how the fort looks. And the fight pits are over here. Hey, how about that? There's online conquests and vendettas. Yep, yep, it's all set up. All set up the way I want it. There's an execution. Your enemy captain is executing Moog Slave Master. Hmm. Let's find out a bit more about that. 
I forgot why I was in there. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> ah, my bad. What I wanted... Alright, so... Our guy moved up in the world, so we need to get another assault person. Maybe... Gubu. Maybe give him a chance to prove himself. Slowly but surely. And let's upgrade the fortress a bit. All the way up. And I have to get fight pits. Okay, that's fair. Flock the drunk and snafu the angry. And in the meantime, we can put... Ash gone. He's actually pretty good. Pretty good and pretty nice. And we can put in... And uh, maybe not Crook. Maybe Scoth. Yeah, Scoth is fine. And then I can see... Who else? Nah, not Crook. Ooh, he actually lost one of his weaknesses there. He's flammable and beast fodder, but I can probably train that more out of him eventually. So, let's assign him as a war chief. There we go. Give him a chance to redeem himself by being a lower echelon leader. <laughs> Alright, spikes? Nah. Fire archers? Farside archers? Yes. War Grog, absolutely. Hellfire, eh, that's a little... That's a little goofy. Um... Hmm. I like the idea of the War Grog. Honestly, I love it. Let's go buy all of these. And then... Fiery Siege Beast. That's fine with me. And then I'll get these... And go with defenders. And then fire spouts, poison spouts, and iron gates. Ah! Let's go with poison spouts, huh? And obviously, we're gonna go with metal walls. Obviously. It's the strongest there is. Why wouldn't we, right? Alright. I think Kirith Ungol is as set as it's gonna get. Good shit. Now we just need to find out who these two are. <laughs> and eventually we'll get to that. Alright, whee! Oops. That didn't work out at all. <laughs> Alright. Good work, people. You made the Bright Lord proud. And in the meantime... Just continue on... With our stuff. Ah, there we are. There's some intel over here. That's what I was looking for. There we go. And... Intel... Gotten. And who are you? Crackhorn Lumphead. Ew. Ew. You're gross. You're a gross. Grossy, gross, gross. Let's roll away. Nope. You're not gonna let... not gonna stay alive long enough to do that. Whoops. I expected him to stay in the air for that. That's my bad. My stupid-ass mistake. Alright, and... I don't see any more intel nearby. Son of a beach. Alright, well. I'll work on that later. And in the meantime, gonna, gonna train up my people a little bit through the fight pits and whatnot. Because why not, right? Anyway, 
Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. Share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games. And finally taking a fortress in Kirith Ungol. And getting betrayed. But also nonetheless making our way through the ranks. And uh, fucking succeeding at life and everything because why not for you what i want to know is when my buddy comes back you know what i want to know is when fucking rosh of the black gate finally shows back up that'd be nice where i have to go to get him back but uh yeah we're doing some damn good work this guy is not look at that face Ugh.